So we have ate and now me and Bay is taking us a stroll. They have a bridge down here. We want to walk across and see the water. So get across the street so I don't get hit. Babe, you said hey to the vlog you walked today? Oh well. Oh well. Uh, Starbucks. Okay, but she just had her coffee today. Which I might get some more later. Thank you so much. 
Hey guys, good morning. Over the weekend, we had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Going to the food trucks was so much fun. Um, they had some good food, so much good, good food. Um, what else? Going out on um, High Street, mixing and mingling with everybody, going to the bar and having some drinks and laughs and just enjoying my husband's company. Um, the next morning, we got up and went to brunch um, to this place. Um, I don't want to butcher the name, um, but it was so, so, I think it's La, uh-uh. I don't want to butcher the name, y'all, but um, Catalina, La Catalina is, I think is it, but it was so good. It's like a little French restaurant. Um, my breakfast was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, they made me a mimosa. It was always good. The mimosa was good. A nice creamy cup of coffee, so... It was so nice sitting out there um, eating brunch with my husband. And so, um, if you guys are ever in Ohio, at least if you are in Columbus, that is a great place to go and eat. I will definitely be doing it again. But, um, yeah, it was it was a wonderful, wonderful, exciting weekend, as always, with me and my hubby. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for coming back and being here on this journey with me. Um, with it, without you guys, none of this is possible, or it wouldn't motivate me to get out there and keep doing what I do, because I really enjoy it. So... Just knowing you guys are there, the comments that you guys leave, um, the constant returning friends that I see, and I notice that you um, always come back. I appreciate you so, so much, you know, and to all my new subscribers, thank you so much as well. I appreciate you guys with my whole heart. Um, I'm enjoying doing this and I look to do a whole lot more, um, if you guys are watching this and you haven't considered subscribing yet, I hope you'll do so. Um, it's not too late. Go ahead, you know, what you're waiting on, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become part of the family. You will enjoy it here. We do a lot. Um, I do home decor. I do lifestyle vlogs, which is what you're watching basically now. I do a lot of cleaning motivation because us busy moms and wives, our lives consist of a lot of cleaning all the time. There is no way around that. So, you know, I bring that content to you guys to motivate one of you guys or all of you guys to get up and tackle something on, in your house, you know, and push you just a little bit to get out there and get it done. Also, I love cooking. I do some cooking on this channel as well. Um... I don't do as much as I would like to, so I'm going to get back into that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to get back into that where I do more cooking for you guys because I do enjoy cooking, and I cook a lot. I eat out a lot. I go out a lot, but I also cook a lot, so it would be nice um, to do that for you guys. So, yeah, thank you so much, my friends. So... Today, my furniture is in, guys. I am loving it. I finally have decided what I'm going to paint on my canvas. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, for those who have not seen the furniture, hopefully you'll go back and watch the vloggy vlog where I revealed our new furniture. Look at me in there. I hope you guys checked out that vlog. Um, that's one of my cleaning vlogs in there. Who is your biggest fan besides yourself, right? But anyway, um, yeah. I don't know if I showed you guys what I have done so far in my den. Let me show you. It's still not finished. I got a few pieces that I still need to get. A few things I still need to hang up. But I'm going to show you what your girl been working on. So I'm going to turn these lights on so you can see. So 
Um, this is what I did with my, my couches that I had originally in my living room. All I did was brought them in here. I was trying to decide between theater seats. Hush, Molly. I was trying to decide between theater seats or keep what I have. And since these was in such good shape, I decided to keep what I have. Also, I like the fact that I didn't go with dark because my house with all the wood tones is already um, kind of dark. So this just keeps this, play, this space, um, it keeps this space light and airy and bright. So right here, I just added these cute pillows that you can do the chop to um, right here on this couch. My coffee is right there, guys. <sighs> so, and we added these um, tables. I figured they can be used for when you're eating for like dinner and a movie, or you just want to sit your coffee on it like I have it and my remotes. Or whatever so that's that and I have them I have two tables one for each couch I was gonna do two for this couch but I figured that's just a little bit too much it'd be too crowded so the two in this space is what I like um over here we added some excuse me my husband loves his fans his fan y'all he have to have his fan he gets hot so that's that but i'm gonna turn this on i love my new lamp lamps i'll show you my other floor lamp that matches this one um i love the detailing on my glass but these are the lamps that i picked for this space one is because it brightens up the space really, really, really good. And also, it's not too overbearing for a movie room. So, I hung up uh, these items. Well, these decorative pieces over here. I have my popcorn sign. I have my movie reel. And then I have the man cave rules, um, which I did that touch for my hubby. This, I have to uh, put some putty, you know, fill in the holes and paint over it. So that I will be doing in just a little bit. I put my um, blanket ladder over here so we can have blankets while we watch movies. Right here, guys, is some books, uh, faux books that I got so that it's kind of camouflage. But I can put my remotes in here. Um, both of them are the same, so I can just store the remotes and keep them out of the way and they don't get lost that way. And I just got a cute little flower that I've had sitting on top. I got these cute little wooden um, holsters so that we can, I can put my coffee or cups or anything I'm drinking on them. Let's see, what else? <coughs> Excuse me. So I kept my footstool that went to my other chair which i have relocated upstairs to my bedroom for our feet or whatever if we want to prop up while we watch a movie so it gives you the reclining feel if you want to feel like you're reclining i also added this faux flower and my pretty little boat um it's not a table, but it's like a um, a TV thing, or you can sit food on it. You can sit um, whatever on it, and it keeps it firm. So if I move this, you see it. It serves it. Um, it plays two parts: a decorative piece, also like a serving tray. So when we're watching movies, I can sit popcorn on it, candy. Um, whatever we have that night on it. You can also play a card game on it or whatever you want to do because it's pretty big. It's a pretty big table. I mean, serving thing. And so, you guys know I love water. I love anything beachy, watery, atmosphere. So, this 
it's perfect the little boat let's see um i still have of course my exit sign right here right here guys i added this man cave sign for my hubby his ohio state um pictures or whatever because he loves that team um we added a consult not a consult tape. well we added this tv stand for the tv we was trying to decide whether we were going to mount it or leave it down and we decided to leave it here because if you're sitting on the couch it is at our level which is perfect and more comfortable for your neck and things while you're watching a movie so down here guys i put it where our candy our candies for movie watching is here if you would like candy um right here is our popcorn items the um butter stuff you can sprinkle on the butter oil and the popcorn is right here so you can make popcorn in here if you like i just got a few books sitting up there my devotionals and things i like to read in the morning time and then over here is just my husband game system his ear um phone his ear plug um what's some things called his things that go up his ear so he can play online of course, his movie, I mean, his games is right there and some movies as well. So, right here, guys, is my floor lamp that matches my lights. My lamp over there matches this lamp. This is my floor lamp. I just got my loved ones on it. My four love bugs down there. Me and my love bugs right here. My grandson right here. I love him to death. He's in Alabama, guys. I can't wait to see him again. And my juju just had me another grandson. And he's in Alabama as well. And my Ling Ling, which is this one right here, she is carrying me a grandbaby boy. And she is due in December. So I am just grateful and blessed and cannot wait to see all my grandkids again. So here is just my little area where I do my editing and just my little computer station, basically. I get my work done here. This chair is getting changed out. It's just temporary. Those are just some floodlights that I got to put up outside where my husband's gonna put up outside. Forget that, guys. I got to dump that. That's a lot of my paper and stuff from work. Up here, I just have two popcorn machines. It depends on how much popcorn I need to make at a time, which machine that I would use. And I just put them up there instead of getting um, something to sit around in here, which would just take up more space. So I just put it up. I just put them up there on the mantle. Um, I have a movie sign up there, home cinema always showing, and whatever movie we're watching that night, if I want to play around with it, I can write the movie up there. This is just my husband's um, G.I. Joe collection. Some of them up here, just some that he wanted to display in those um, things that he built. He built these little, um, this little case so that they can be showcased in there. He got these two as well. And he's working on one, another one down here that's going to display more. He just got a few of his, um, a few of his items that he liked a lot. He left up here. Um, so he hasn't organized it yet. Uh, he will be working on this. This is just a picture frame, guys. Let me move it out the way. I'm going to put pictures in that. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put my grandson in that since he doesn't have a frame. And then I just got my popcorn boxes up there. I also have another movie reel right here. Um, yeah, so I am really enjoying my movie space. 
our theater room and this is how it looks those curtains we got a while back i showed you guys that was one of the first items that we bought for the theater room which darkens the room really really well and it also blocks out noise from outside they're heavy heavy duty i love those so when it's daylight outside it doesn't matter all we got to do is shut the doors to our theater room and close the curtains and it is dark in here you can watch movies any time or day any time of day or night y'all this is one of my pictures that i painted a while back um 9 23 18 that's when i painted this picture right here absolutely love it i also painted this picture right here a while back you guys know i love like i said water pictures i love beaches and all that so that's what inspired this i did this in 2018 as well absolutely love painting guys so i cannot wait till you see my painting for my living room and so i kind of blocked it off i closed my curtains and the doors so you guys can see the movie lights these are the lights that i have on when we're watching movies it just gives you that whole theater vibe fun vibe we enjoy it. My Ling Ling done come down and have a cup of coffee with her mommy and my grandbaby. Yes. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. This is how it looks underneath your feet while you vibing to a movie. <laughs>